Google protects some of the largest web properties in the world. Using the vast security knowledge and experience gained, Google Build Security Command Center, SCC, our built-in security and risk management solution for Google Cloud customers. SCC helps customers manage cyber risks by detecting software vulnerabilities, misconfigurations, and threats to their cloud resources. Now, SCC is taking it one step further and in integrating attack path simulation to help identify where organizations are most vulnerable to attack. As cloud environments scale, security teams often struggle to understand where their biggest risks are and where to focus their security efforts. It's not easy to know which issues create the greatest security exposures. Add to this a chronic shortage of security resources and skills, and the need to focus on the right issues becomes even more urgent. Organizations need to rapidly identify what security findings create the most risk, quantify that risk and enable drill down into details, and then take targeted actions to remediate the risk. SEC's attack path simulation works by dynamically analyzing the assets in a Google Cloud environment. It considers the relationships between the assets, the current defenses implemented, and potential security issues, including misconfigurations and vulnerabilities. Additionally, it considers some known unknowns, such as the risk of users getting phished or risks of credentials leaking, among other things. It uses this information to automatically generate a comprehensive graph model of your Google Cloud environment. The simulation engine then functions from an external attacker's point of view, simulating multiple attack methods across all known paths to valued assets, with the goal of reaching and compromising those assets, revealing to you how an attacker could compromise critical cloud resources. With this information, SCC is then able to provide insights into exposures and the best actions to take to mitigate these risks. It's important to note that all of the simulations are conducted on the models, so they don't introduce any risk to your live environment. Here we are in Security Command Center, in the Findings tab looking at misconfigurations and vulnerabilities detected. The question is, which of these findings do we prioritize first? For this exact use case, here are the insights from the attack path simulations. You can sort on attack exposure score to identify what findings constitute the highest risk in terms of exposing valuable resources to potential attackers. For this demo, we set up a small environment with some leaked credentials. We have now sorted on attack exposure score, and at the top of the list, we see an open SSH port finding. We click on the score and get attack path insights. Here we can see that the open SSH port exposes four valued resources. We can click on instance one and see the attack path details for that valued resource. We see that from the public internet, there are three firewall rules that allow access to instance one. If we expand on instance one, we can see that there are two tracks that need to be accomplished, network connect and login. The attacker can use the open SSH port in combination with the leaked SSH key. Since this SSH key is defined on the compute engine instance configuration, the key provides pseudo privileges, thus leading to full access to instance one. Going back to the list of findings, the third finding in the list is an admin service account. Let's click into this finding and look at the attack path details. There are three valued resources exposed. We'll explore the attack path details for instance three. The first part of this attack path is the same one that we saw before, allowing the attacker to gain access to instance one. From instance one, the user can log into instance two due to the IAM configurations gaining access to the service account with the admin service account finding we just clicked into. This finding allows the user to log in as an admin to any instance that is configured to accept it. Among these instances is instance three, our valued resource that the attacker now has admin access to. Once again, at our findings list, we can see that there are some findings that have an attack exposure score of zero. 
This means that in the simulation, either the attacker is not able to reach the finding, or the attacker is able to reach the finding, but from there, they're not able to reach and compromise any valued resources. So, in summary, attack exposure scores provide insights on what to prioritize. You can click each one of these scores and find attack paths and driving factors behind the score. Now you know how Security Command Center uses large-scale attack path simulations running in the background to help you keep your Google Cloud environment safer, enabling you to focus your scarce time on what matters most to your security. Make sure to check the description for links to learn more about Security Command Center with Attack Path Simulation.